Are you tired of getting hacked? Are you tired of getting your NFT stolen on OpenSea when you're trying to actually sell your NFTs and then you accidentally sign a contract and then your NFT gets sent to some unknown person? Are you tired of trying to install some sort of NFT game and then it ends up stealing your private keys? Well, in today's video, I want to show you guys a new plugin slash wallet that you guys can use, a MetaMask replacement that has much higher security than MetaMask and can provide you with the security to ease your mind when jumping into wild, wild west of a crypto. Today's product is called Rabi Wallet, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what it is and how it can really save your butt when you're trying to invest in crypto projects. If you didn't know already, my name is Mac. This is Cryptstar Staking. I do all sorts of tutorials for MetaMask, for a lot of cool crypto projects. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want. Uh, I do a lot of tutorials on Twitter and I post a lot of interesting information there. So if you want to know about the products that uh, I'm jumping into and that I'm a part of, feel free to go ahead and follow me there. And let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Today's video is on Rabi Wallet. And Rabi Wallet, it's basically a, if a wallet that focuses on security over the bleeding edge user experience. This wallet is very, very good. I would say it has 85% of the functionality of MetaMask with about 100 or 200% more security. It's audited by Slow Mist. It's open source as well, which doubles the security. And MetaMask, I believe, is also open source. Uh, you can use this extension on Chrome, desktop, or mobile. So it works on Mac, it works on Windows, and it looks like they're working on the mobile version. So I've been using this for a couple months now. Uh, it's very useful because you can actually see all of your assets over all the different chains that they support. And the user interface is much, much more intuitive than MetaMask. So let's take a look at how Ravi is different than MetaMask. So you can see it's multi-chain. Uh, MetaMask is multi-chain, but you have to actually add all of these different chains manually. Whereas Ravi has integrated about, I think, 55 different chains automatically, and you can just select them from the Ravi interface rather than having to add them manually through chainlist.io or trying to copy and paste the RPC, which leaves you open to uh, malicious intentions and you can accidentally copy the wrong RPC and get your Ethereum stolen or whatever tokens stolen because you're, you're, you're attaching your wallet to a malicious node. Also, Rabi.io, one thing I really like about it is that it has pre-signed check for error and risk. So they do have a list of sort of risky contracts in the background and they check against that list to make sure that you're not signing away any of your crypto and it'll pop up and it'll show you hey by the way this is a malicious attack against you this is you're not really selling your nft right now you're actually sending it to somebody and this is when you go to OpenSea before uh, OpenSea, you know kind of updated their contracts there was a way for people to upload their nfts to OpenSea, and if you decided to go ahead and place a bid on the nft or whatever then that would actually give them rights to take all of your NFTs in exchange. It was like some smart contract because on uh, MetaMask, all it shows you is the number of the contract. It doesn't show you what the contract actually does. A lot of people were getting their NFTs stolen or, or giving rights to sell all of their NFTs. So this security actually, the security built into Rabi.io prevents this kind of malicious attack. And I'm sure that once the next bull market comes again, there's gonna be a lot more hackers coming onto OpenSea trying to mess around with contracts and such and find loopholes so that they can try and steal your crypto. And Rabi, they're focusing on security first. So if you don't have 100% of your time dedicated to crypto, if you have a nine to five job, but you wanna go ahead and make sure you jump into this bleeding edge technology, at least get a foothold in or get one foot in the door, then I highly recommend that you switch from MetaMask to Rabi and also use a you know, Nano Ledger S device or some sort of hardware key to protect your crypto because the, the hackers are getting much, much smarter over time. And there's getting, there's a lot of interesting things going on. They're selling software on the black, uh, black market. What do you call it? Like it's kind of Silk Road 2.0 or whatever it is. And they're selling basically a software that allows hackers to go into your MetaMask and steal all the data and steal your private key just by downloading some sort of uh, thing that looks like an installer file that looks like a video game or a web 3.0 game and they can basically steal all of your crypto just using that so security over user experience it's open source and audited by a professional security company using the most friendly mit license among mainstream extension wallets and they adopt well-proven private key management component from metamask now even though they say they adopt this well-proven private key management component i would say if you can try to use 
your Nano Ledger S device or a hardware wallet, especially you people who are new to crypto or those of you who don't go are into crypto, you know, 100% of the time because things are changing every day. There's no way to stay on top of everything. And as soon as you uh, get, try and get back into crypto after you've been working for a couple weeks, you know, some security uh, things have been changed. Some security vulnerabilities have been have happened and you might not realize it and then you get screwed because you weren't in the loop because you actually have a, a real job that you're focusing on right so that's one reason i made this video to show you guys that they do have yeah they have 44 chains integrated here so a lot of these chains are definitely worth jumping into i'm sure some of them are going to 30 40 x uh, in the next bull run and it's definitely plenty of things to get your your, your feet wet uh, just just right here in the Rabi wallet and keep your crypto safe. So I'm just gonna jump into my Rabi wallet here real quick and show you guys around. Basically what I did was I imported my Ledger device and right now it's still connected. You can see here the MetaMask is in use and Rabi is banned. So in order to switch to make sure websites use Rabi, you can just go ahead and flip to that and then just hit confirm. All right, and down here you can see the 44 different wallets that are integrated with Rabi. Sorry, the 44 different chains that are integrated with Rabi. So they have pretty much everything you could possibly want here. A bunch of Polkadot EVM chains, a bunch of gaming chains, Web 3.0 chains, uh, a bunch of, uh, of EVM chains that are built uh, layer two on, on Ethereum, such as uh, Matic, which is a side chain to Ethereum, Optimism they have here, uh, like I said, Polygon. Uh, Telos, they have Tomb Chain. They have a lot of the really like good, great, great products on here, and you won't have to worry about your crypto getting stolen at all. Well, pretty much all, I would say, if you're using a Ledger device and you're using this Rabi wallet. Plus, the interface is really nice. It's much smoother. It doesn't crash. Uh, it works much better than uh, the MetaMask wallet. And you can see here in the transactions. Well, it's really nice because you can you can go and switch the chain to say Arbitrum. And then you can actually check it out, all of your different tokens on Arbitrum. And this actually shows you, see I have USDT here on Ethereum. And then on the Glimmer network, I have some Glimmer tokens. So you can see here I have a little bit of Glimmer token. On Binance chain, I have this eLunar token. And on the BNB chain, I have also this other stuff. So it shows you all of your assets across all of the chains that they support, which is very, very useful in my opinion. Now also it shows you your DeFi stuff as well as your NFTs here. So you can see all of my different NFTs here from all my different games. It's very, very useful. And it's much more intuitive than MetaMask. And MetaMask doesn't have this functionality. So that's it for my video today. Uh, Rabi Wallet, very, very intuitive, security-focused MetaMask replacement. Uh, if you guys use Rabi Wallet and you have anything you want to note about it, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your guys' opinion. Uh, personally, I've been using it for months now. I do have to use MetaMask once in a while. Uh, just because some of the products I do get into are a little bit risque and low market cap, so there's no there's no there's no functionality. You can't actually add anything to Rabi Rabi Wallet right now. You can't add extra chains because I think Rabi focuses on security. They don't want to add chains that might have you know problems with their smart contracts in a security perspective. Anyways, thank you guys for viewing, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.